So today I want to cover aspects of getting a soil solution sample uh, that need coverage after you've installed your solute sampler. So once the solute sampler is installed we need the solution inside the solute sampler to equilibrate with the solution in the wider soil. We reckon uh, that ta can take up to two weeks and during that time we suggest that it would be good if uh, one irrigation or a rainfall event actually causes water to pass through the soil past that sampler. And the other thing we recommend is that you extract two solute sampler volumes from it uh, during that two week period. So let's say we come to the end of the two week period and we've put a vacuum on the solute sampler. I'll just illustrate that again showing you a little meter here. This is a vacuum gauge. I put my syringe in here and you'll see looking at the vacuum gauge close up that if we put a suction with a hand syringe on we can quite easily get up to 60 70 kPa. To illustrate taking a sample in the field I've got a device specially built for it. This device is a plastic uh, plastic case containing water filled sand. In it we've cut through two solute samplers and glued them to the face of the box. You can see the open solute sampler there. We've filled the box, backfilled the box with sand with a saline solution in it. You can see that because we've put a vacuum on the solute samplers that solution has been drawn from the sand into the solute sampler. And just to remind you this is the device, what the device looks like that we've placed in the soil. Uh, to get a sample in the field you'll need a minimum of, of three implements. You're going to need a syringe, dry and clean to extract it. If you reuse syringes, flush them with distilled water between use and dry them out. You're going to need a vial to collect the sample in and that vial is going to have to have a label that will allow you to write some information on it. If you reuse vials, flush them with distilled water and dry them out before use. And we're going to take a portable EC meter. Uh, this is useful because in the field it's always good to, to get a measure then and there in case anything happens to the sample after it leaves the field. So to take a sample you've got your uh, solute sampler that has had a vacuum on it for at least a day or two after an irrigation and you'll see that that vacuum has caused a solution to flow inside it and now I'm going to access that moisture by extracting with my tube. So as I look at the moisture level, as I pull back the syringe, I draw out the moisture. Put the sample in it. On the label, you should mark sample location, date of collection. You take your syringe, you place it in your lure fitting, you turn your valve so that it is on, you then start to extract, put a vacuum on the syringe by pulling back and that extracts the moisture out of the solute sample. If you look back down here you'll notice that we've now have removed all the solution from the solute sampler. We turn the valve, close the valve, we take that solution out, we put it in a vial, we then take our EC meter and we make sure that the uh, solution is covering both electrodes and if there's one obvious there, a temperature sensor below it, and we wait for the measurement that will be at this scale here to stabilise. This will normally happen pretty fast, and we notice that the measurement at the moment for this solution, which we made up, is 6.2 decisiemens. That's quite a saline solution. 